Hello and welcome to Round the Ring. This is Dark Dive. It's first of a weekly kind of dark review. Um, when you're hitting 15, 16, 17 matches a week, doing a full review is going to take a heck of a lot more time than I have and you want to listen to me talk to you at, talk at you for. So I'm not going to cover everything. Just a handful of matches to give you a feel for what dark's been like recently. So last night we had... I am on my own today. Reno will be back with me over the weekend for our Dynamite review. But yes, today you, you are stuck with me. Um, I will also be having my own theme tune next week. It was meant to be ready today, but it's not. I can blame my father. But let's get into this. Last night we had a two hour and 13 minute episode of Dark with 17 matches and 56 competitors. It was billed at over 40. And I was curious, so I counted up. Yes, 56 different competitors on Dark last night. And you would think with that many competitors and that many matches, there would be a couple of dud ones, but there really weren't. Even the matches that I wasn't particularly interested in were still really good, mainly Aaron Solo and Brian Nemeth. As I said, I'm not going to cover all the matches because there's just too much. I'm going to pick a few. Some of my favourites... Um, and yeah let you know what i think and hopefully you'll have some opinions of your own you can let me know in the comment section down below and we can have a chat or hit me up on twitter or whatever you want to do i don't know social media is weird but let's get into it i'm not going to go through an order because i forgot to take notes last night because i was extremely excited so i've taken the um the card off their youtube which for some reason isn't actually in order but hey figure that out later i am gonna start with bear country and joey and sunny versus mbadu levi shapiro daniel joseph and and aaron fry i don't know what made tony khan put bear country and joey and sunny in a in a quartet team together but i don't care i absolutely love it it shouldn't work it really shouldn't but it does it's fantastic the whole match was brilliant. Mbadu, Levi Shapiro, Daniel Joseph and Aaron Fryer are all really good. And they all have great chemistry in the ring. Same goes for their country. And the more we see of them, the more the AEW universe falls in love with them. And I can't wait to see more. And I kind of hope this odd quartet tag team actually sticks. Um, and it's not just going to be a dark thing. It's the second match they've had as a, as a quartet. And yeah, I absolutely love it. It's weird. It's wacky. It's wonderful. And give me more. Next, we have Kingston versus JD Drake. I was thoroughly impressed with this. JD Drake is someone I'm not particularly familiar with. Kingston, we all love to hate. Um, but there aren't many people that can give Kingston a run for his money and stagger him as much as JD Drake did. And the whole AEW universe last night went absolutely mental for Drake. And if you've seen it, you will completely understand why. The match was brilliant. It was a phenomenal match and I really want to see more of him. I would also be interested in seeing him tag with Kingston because they do have very similar styles. They are both, they're, they're both big guys. It, it's a fight rather than a wrestling match. And it it's so much fun seeing them work together in the ring um, as opponents or together in a tag team. I can only imagine the tag team would be just as impressive. And yeah, I do hope we get to see more of JD Drake because I, I want to get to know him a bit. Um, as I said, I'm not familiar with him. I've not seen any of his previous matches. Um, so I'm hoping we get to see him a little bit more in Dark over the coming months. So the next one is the whole reason I stayed up till God knows when this morning to watch AW Dark Live. And that was Layla Hirsch versus Brooke Havoc. If you follow me on social media and you watch our Dynamite review, then you will realise just how obsessed with Layla Hirsch I am. And she will be the first female member of Team Taz, whether Taz likes it or not. I'm not going to let him have anyone else because it has to be Layla Hirsch. She is, she is Lady Taz. And after the release suplex she pulled on um, Havoc last night, she really does deserve that. 
that team Tao's title. Seeing her coming out in the orange and the black with the towel over her head, it would be so cool. But Layla Hirsch is extremely talented. It was a great bounce back for her after her loss in the women's tournament. Um, and Brooke Havoc looked absolutely amazing. This is her third, possibly fourth professional wrestling match. And she's got so much talent. She's got such a bright future ahead of her. And I am very much looking forward to watching her career on Vale. Then we got JJ, JJ Garrett versus QT Marshall. QT Marshall knows every wrestling move in the book. Um, I saw something on Twitter said so just give him a gimmick where he literally knows every wrestling move in the book and just let him be awesome because QT Marshall is and he doesn't get half as much love as he deserves he doesn't get half as much screen time as he deserves and JJ Garrett was really impressive again he's another one I've not seen before he's another one I'm not familiar with his career but I want to see more this is the thing I love about Dark it introduces you to people that you're probably never going to get a chance to see any other time and it makes you fall in love with them and it makes you want to see more it makes you go investigate the rest of their career and hope that they get a contract or that we see more of them or they get their debut on, on dynamite and it's great and people finally seem to be realizing this um as far as i'm concerned this is how developmental shows are meant to be done you make your fans fall in love with your developmental and enhancement talent as much as you do your main roster and then when the rosters do shift about when you do start giving out contracts again you've already got a solid set of people there that your fans already love and already want to see succeed i'm i'm more than happy with how this is all going at the moment and yeah, JJ Garrett and QT Marshall were, it, it's a prime example of that. You put someone as skilled and talented as QT Marshall with, with the career QT Marshall has against someone like JJ Garrett, you're going to get a great match and you're going to put over your enhancement talent, even in loss, because standing toe to toe against QT Marshall, it, 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 it's an achievement for like pretty much anyone. Then we got Lee Johnson and Serpentico. And this was Lee Johnson's first singles win. He got his first tag titles win last week, week before last, and was um, officially crowned member of the Nightmare family. And I absolutely love it. So Pentico, it's odd seeing him wrestle and not be used as a weapon. And Luther didn't get involved, which I was highly surprised about. But again, it's absolutely fantastic match. Every match on Dark last night was, there was not a single dub one at all. But yeah, getting to see Serpentico actually wrestle was quite quite an, uh, quite a novelty. It's not something we see very often, but it is something I hope to see more because he is really bloody good. There's not much more I can say about it other than it was really good. Both of them deserved the screen time. Both of them needed the win. I don't think needed the win. But both of them could have got the win and it could have gone either way. It was an absolutely brilliant match. And commentary was hugely putting over um, Lee Johnson, which I absolutely love. For someone who's been wrestling with AEW since April last year, to only have two wins, it's not the best run. But if you watch the matches back um, that Lee Johnson's had over like the last nine months... He has been improving week on week on week and is continuing to do so. He's getting his wins now. He's going to get his dynamite time. And it's only a matter of time before we see him in the TNT title picture, uh, which I'm thoroughly looking forward to. And just imagine Lee Johnson versus Darby for the title. That would be really cool. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself now. Fantasy booking is kind of my thing. The last one I'm going to mention today, though, is going to be Alex Reynolds and John Silver versus Louis Valley and Chris Peaks. I absolutely love everything that Dark Order are doing at the moment, especially Reynolds and Silver. They're such a great tag team. Their chemistry is brilliant. And Louis Valley and Chris Peaks work really well together as well. Um, Valley and Peak strokes were made quite a lot. Commentary. It's an extremely dry sense of humour on the Dark commentary, and I absolutely love it. Um, Taz and Excalibur are always on point and their commentary it, it elevates the matches so much and it, it makes them it, it's a giggle and they just rip the shit out of each other and it's I don't know it's fun I know the commentary team isn't everyone's cup of tea but very dry very British sense of humour especially when you've got Anthony Agogo on commentary with them and 
I, I do I do love Anthony Gogo. And I can't wait to see Anthony in the ring because that's going to be a lot of fun. But again, I'm getting far too ahead of myself here. As I was saying, Reynolds and Silva and Louis Valley and Chris Peaks was a fantastic match. But what made it for me was the post-match with um, Reynolds and Silva, where they just screamed at each other in the ring and burst out laughing and could not keep straight faces. It was brilliant. But on that note, I'm going to leave you all to it because it's like two o'clock in the afternoon and I have stuff on one o'clock in the afternoon. and I do have stuff I need to get on and do and articles I need to write. So on that note, I'm going to leave you wonderful people to it. Let me know what you thought of the show in the comments below. Um, if you've got any questions, if you've got anything you want to talk to me about, drop me a message on social media or in the comments below and I will get back to you. But for now, I will leave you to it. Enjoy Dynamite tonight and we will see you over the weekend for our Dynamite review. Goodbye.